Yo, what's up YouTube? It's your boy Bobby D back again with another hot, juicy video. And guys, I'm back here in Austin, Texas from a boy Dodge over here trying to give you guys some more hair related content. And today guys, you know, I'm a big, you know, fitness guy. Obviously Dodge is, just, just look at him, he's huge. And um, one of the supplements I've been taking is creatine. And, you know, if you go online, you hear all about, you know, all the causes hair loss or it's like a myth or something. So I just kind of wanted to get, you know, your take on it and see what you thought about it. Yeah, so I mean, this is like, it's ridiculous that this is a thing on, on the internet. Um, it kind of, there's a small study a while back, a couple years ago, that uh, just kind of made the whole internet explode about the creatine causes hair loss. Um, but what's going on in that study is you've got a bunch of guys who are rugby players, and they do a big load of 25 grams of creatine, um, and their DHT increased by 9%. Um, it went back to maintenance. Uh, it went back to their normal levels within a couple of days. Um, most likely what happened there is because of the creatine, they were able to push a little more output. So there was a small increase with the androgens and then it goes back. It's ridiculous. Creatine is an amazing supplement. Um, I have my dad take it. It's good for inflammation, blood glucose. Um, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's one of the most studied supplements in the, in the U.S. So there's no reason not to do it. Oh, for sure. Because I've been taking mm -hmm. it, I would say, you know, religiously for like three years and I've, I haven't had any hair loss. Granted, you know, I've been taking finasteride too, which also helps, but I think you should take it, guys, and um, the results speak for themselves. So until next time.